Hello, people. Storm666 T Man here. Back with another episode of Sonotica, and I'm expecting this to be the episode where I get the cure. Otherwise, I'm gonna be pretty weirded out because I feel like I'm towards end game right now. I feel like I'm towards finishing off the game, you know, all that type of jazz. I really do. You know, I feel like we're at the point where all I need now is a purple tablet and a blue one to explore those areas for that last entrance entrance stuff and then I will literally be all set to go down and uh, get the cure which I don't know how I'm gonna get it but you know maybe th like a, out of a bl bone tissue of the uh, the sea emperor that they kept there I mean now it's gone but like they could have kept something of it what was I doing Oh, yes, uh, I need to make my, what is this? Oh, yeah, I need to make a purple tablet, two diamonds, and then two kyanite, and then ion cubes, obviously. Okay. I believe all of those are X. Do I have diamonds in here? I don't know. I think my diamonds are in here. Welcome aboard, Captain. Uh, Ball yeah, alive. no, that's not it. This is it. Two diamonds. Ion cubes I did have in here, yeah. Let me get two of those. And then I already have two kyanite in my pawn suit that I mined while I was down there. In expectance to make a blue tablet. <laughs> Welcome aboard, okay, Captain. let me take this out. See? Two kyanite. Perfect. Then, wow. That always mixes me up sometimes, like when I first go into the water. Wish you could shut this stupid map off. For good. Doesn't everyone else? I mean, or is that just me? Okay. Nice, I can make both of these. Now we have a purple tablet, everyone, and a blue tablet. Okay, that is all I need, I think. So, that is good. Now, I need some supplies. Because obviously while I'm down there, it's not like I can get any food or water. So, let me bring, like, four water, a couple med kits, uh, don't really need much else, I don't think. I already have beacons on me from last time that I didn't use. I don't think I'm gonna really be needing to beacon everything. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Once I'm cured, I really hope these warbers start atta stop attacking me, you know, because I'm cured, obviously, but, like, you never know with warbers. They're untrustworthy. Oh. Uh, where's my repair? Okay, there you go. Oh, this is a good idea to have my stasis rifle out as well. I mean, actually, let me put that in my first slot and then make sure I have... Yeah, that's about good. We'll have this out. Enter prawn suit. I have all of the stuff I need. Okay, I did not mean to do that, but sure. This is such a beautiful spot where I decided to put my base down here. I love it. It's like safe, but you know, like still amazing. How cool it is down here. Let's just say that. I mean, I guess technically it's hot. Hey, look, the jelly rays got stuck in the tree. Oh, it's so beautiful. For a place that is in the deep down, like, the dark area. I don't know. It looks very beautiful. Okay. Hopefully when we come back from this journey, the warpers will stop attacking us. I think I'm gonna go to the one where I got the blue tablet first. First? Because that's probably the one that doesn't give me the cure, I don't think, at least. Because it's not the base that's 1,400 meters down. Like this game has been teasing. Okay, let's go straight down. Past the warper, hopefully. <laughs> Warpers are probably one of the most annoying things in this game that I do not like. Just putting that out there. Oh, this place does not get any less scary, let me tell you. Woo. Ho maybe even this episode we can see a Seadrax scene it, and you haven't yet because the video got deleted, but you know. 
we need to go to that lava castle exit right there because that's where it is look there's little baby uh, deep shrooms here there's a ton of deep shrooms like jeez okay back when those were hard to get <laughs> that was a different time let's just say that this is the beacon to help me always get home, which is very nice, because this place is huge. I mean, obviously I haven't explored all of it, because, you know, it's, it's huge. And with Sea Dragon. I mean, so far I've only seen one, so I wonder if just at that, like, lava castle, there's just the one room in it. Which would honestly be pretty, like, evil, because, you know, it's literally, that lava castle is right by the entrance to that and the other entrance. Question, how is that beacon closer than that one? That makes no sense. I don't know. <laughs> Going with this prawn suit is so slow. I wish you could upgrade your seamoth further. That would just be cool. You're like, why does this play? You hear that sounds, everyone? Like, hey! Hello, Jelly Ray. Hopefully, I'll be back with a cure. By the next time you see me. Let's try and pick up speed a little bit here, like, honestly. We're not gonna be a sloth here. Okay, we're approaching the lava castle. Keep your ears peeled. Because <laughs> once we hear that roar, we hear that roar. <laughs> Let's just hope it's not close. <sighs> I keep thinking... Yeah, that's it. I keep thinking these jelly rays are... The, uh, the UC dragon. Okay. Don't mind me, Mr. Friend. I will. The number of heart attacks I get. Don't come. Don't come now. Don't come now. Do not come now. Uh, this is why we brought medkits. It's right there. Okay, we're getting a good view, everyone. Is it that? Is that what? Did I just imagine tentacles? Nope, that's it. You see it? You see it? That is it. Right there, the little tentacles. I found it. Look. Okay, maybe a bad idea to dash right at it. See it? Look. It's like you're looking death in the face. Okay. Yeah, you just stay down there, okay? I will tell you, you do not want to frick with these people. There. Oak. Yeah, uh... That's exact... Look. Look at it. That is... He can't touch me. I'm in a little barrier, right? Right? Oh, hello, friendly, friendly, friendly sea dragon. I'm in a barrier. You can't come here. Ha! See, this little green thing has a barrier. I'm pretty sure. Otherwise, I would be a lot more scared. <laughs> Look at this thing! Wow! Beautiful. So cool. Uh, uh, yeah, you can't come here, dude. Oh, okay, enough staring it in the eyes, because, yeah, that's not fun. But that's the sea dragon, everyone. And I guarantee you, without that shield protecting me, I would be a lot more dangerous. Yeah, and it's still outside. If it's camping that exit, that's not going to be fun. Oh, wait, I'm going in the complete wrong spot. 
Never mind, I'm not. Okay, as before, I'm gonna drop a beacon real quick right there. Just to know where my exit is. Okay. I believe the entrance is right there. Gosh, it sounds like it's right in here. But it's not, we know that. But, you know, it's like circling outside because it got mad that I approached and looked at it. See, this is the shield thing that it looks like. It's a lot clearer over here. But this thing, pre like, prevents you from getting attacked. At least from what I know. I think. <laughs> I don't know. Now that I'm thinking about it, do is it? It has to. I mean, these people are so advanced, I would highly doubt if it doesn't. Okay, finally! Imagine I need two purple tablets. That would make me damn ag aggravated. Ooh. I faced a sea dragon for this. You better have something good. What are these? Let's get me a scanner out. Ooh, that sea dragon was scary. Okay. Uh, this system is directly converting local thermal energy into electric currents at 90% efficiency. Nice. Most of this energy is being stored by the battery-like devices within the plant itself, each of which hold enough power for a small city for a year. Some of it, however, is being drained off, presumably as it is distributed to other facilities on the planet. The power plant appears to be fully automated and given current understanding of the mechanisms of all interrupted. Wow. How did you get here, buddy, buddy? Does anyone else see that floating fish, or is it just me? Huh? Actually, wouldn't mind a little meal. Huh? Huh? Ha! How handy! <laughs> it's a glitch, I know, but, like, <laughs> kind of funny. Okay, all power routers in the thermal plant is distributing energy collected on-site to other facilities. Oh, so, so we get... Yeah. So, the self war the warpers are getting 5%. The arc network is getting 10%. The Sanctuaries is getting 10. The Quarantine Enforcement Platform. I'm pretty sure that's the giant uh, gun thing that shoots you down. That's getting 35% energy. And Primary Containment Facility is 20% and Reserve is 20%. Nice. Awesome. Now what could the information be up here about? Little orange thing. What is this? It has been possible to extract useful information regarding alien ion power. Ion cubes are grown artificial. What did they say? I don't know. Uh, ion cubes are grown artificially from a mineral substance and are treated to remain in a stable state despite the huge iconic energy contained within by installing an ion cube. In an appropriate device, this energy can be released as electrical power. Using this knowledge, it, it has been possible to synthesize new battery and power cell blueprints, which levered advanced iconic energy to last considerably longer. So, uh, can I make these new batteries or not? <gasps> I can! Battery infused with... Oh! Oh, let's go! Oh my goodness, let's go! That is gonna be s Okay. Okay, I'm gonna, I have, l let me show you how much ion cubes I have, because I definitely need some more, then. So they can make ion power cubes. Frick my regular batteries, let's go, okay, I'm so glad I came here. That is so helpful. <laughs> I thought I was just moving along the story stuff, but, a pa see, look how many ion cubes I have. That's gonna be all turned into batteries. Probably gonna save, like, three or so, in case I need purple tablets. Always good to have extras. Am I right? 
or am I wrong? Which I know I'm right. So, you can't argue. I still wonder where those por portals go. I really don't really care, but like, you know, would be interesting. Okay, let's do this. Uh, beacon I want to go to is 12. Okay, let's get out of the mountain. The gates of hell. Honestly, just gonna pick this up real quick. No, I don't. I just want to pick the beacon up. In case there's something epic I need to beaconize. You know. So there's the exit. I hope the sea dragon isn't just camping, because that would not be fun, let me just tell you that. <laughs> I hope it's not camping. Oh gosh. I could see myself getting easily lost in this place without actual directions. You see, this is the little, like, uh, force field thing that's protecting me from the sea dragon. Here it is. It feels so far away. I don't hear it. Okay, let's start going then. I hear it. I most definitely hear it. I hear it! Is this my entrance? Did I badly, uh, do this? Was this a huge crater? Oh, gosh. I'm a dodo. No, this is it. Yes. This is totally it. Right? Yeah, sea dragon, you just stay over there. Mind your own business. Yeah, found it. Let's go. Ah, is that a hole? Nope, it's just a bad rendered. Ooh. Nice to touch ground. Okay, we are safe, everyone. This is just a scary location, luckily. Woo! It is hot down here. Hot like no one asked. Okay. Oh, I think the sea dragon is close. Huh. You can't get down here, Dodo. He's probably, like, circling outside, like, No! You're about to get the cure! What is that? Did, did I just get a wall glitch, or... Was that a sea dragon? I know it was a sea dragon, but is it down here, or is it just a glitch? You all saw that, right? I'm most definitely not crazy. I'm not talking about you, imbecile. Okay. I just need to get here. I'm pretty sure that there may be a sea dragon down here. You know, again, not for sure. I think it may have been a wall glitch, but, you know. Better safe than sorry, am I right? In this case, better safe than very sorry. Huh. I thought I was just here. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Or I'm right. I am very much so right. Hello? Force field? Force field? Ha ha. Loser. Loser. You can't touch this. Holy. Can I scan you? 
Okay, I can't scan you. <laughs> okay, uh, you just stay out there. Um, uh, I'm gonna take a warp gate out, probably. Maybe one of these leads to that one that was in the mountain. Because that is damn scary. I am dang nervous. Okay, let's go and unlock this. I'm gonna go outside of Pepper, probably. But first, before I... Actually, no, I'll just leave this in case it glitches something. Okay, we'll take my very carefully, uh, thingmading, my blue tablet, out. And... You freaking stay away from me, you poo-poo. Insert. Nice. Okay. Ooh, it's a little room. Hello. Is that another gate? If you... No. 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 Why is there water? What is that gate, though? Yeah, there's no chance in hell I'm... Game. I can't see you, it's down there. What is this? I'm scared. There's no way I can get up there either. What? This game makes no sense. I'm not going down there. You must be insane. You must be insane. Hi. Huh? Yeah. Okay. We can do this. Hello? I hate this game so much. When I say that, I mean I love it, but I... Oh my god! <sighs> There's a freaking reaper down here? I'm done. Can't see anything. For the oh, I'm so screwed. <sighs> okay, can maybe this game be a little less scary? I swear, this is it's not supposed to be a horror game. The unknown. Okay. Ah, God, no. There's probably nothing down there. There's not a reaper or a sea dragon. It's probably just a freaking I don't know, leech. Maybe this is the thing that was used to hold the sea emperor before he died. Or escaped. I'm actually not sure which happened. Can I see anything? I see a little light. Huh? Okay, I'm such a I freaking this game. Just stop. <laughs> okay. One more time, game. If you kill me, I will kill your... Uh, actually, good idea. Save... Th what is that blue... Do you see that to the right? It just disappeared, but it looked like a little... I don't know. Okay. Huh. Doesn't look that scary. At all. Oh, oh! Yeah, no! No way, not scary at all! Yeah! You to play? No, I'm here to die. Others came here once. They built these walls. They played alone. They yeah. bored me. Can I scan you? No, they're gone. And instead, 
we have you. We are curious whether you swim with the current or fight against it as they did. What? <gasps> this is the Sea Emperor! Oh! You're beautiful! You are beautiful, dude! <gasps> Let me scan you. Can I scan you, please? Unlike other alien facilities, Scans indicate this location supports a diverse and healthy ecosystem. Explanation unclear at this time. Detecting unusually passive behavioral patterns in nearby predators. Reason unknown. Let me go get... S so passive, what does that mean? Aggressive or not? Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, let's drink a water. I got so scared when I saw that thing. Ooh. Okay, hey dude, uh, can I scan you before I go explore more? Because I really want to. You look awesome, and you don't attack me, so... Double whammy, am I right? Okay, stop swimming so fast. So dumb. Ah! I can't scan you. Okay, well, sorry. Yeah, your butt looks fine. <laughs> Okay, let's keep exploring with that thing. 14,000. Well, what am I supposed to do? Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare, plankton-like life form which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. This was not here the first time I went, honestly. What? Oh. Okay, make sure he doesn't attack me, everyone. Don't attack me. Uh, scanner out. There's some s incubator. I do have an iron cube, don't I? <gasps> sea Emperor eggs! Actually, first let me read up on the... No, I already missed it. Screw it. Ah, dude, your egg's looking fine. Shell, uncommonly strong shell lining. Organic growth on the exterior suggests these eggs may be thousands of years old. Wow. Uh... I'm gonna run out of oxygen, dude. I don't have an ion cube! I'm dead, dude! Okay, I'm not dead. I, uh, I just need to go get your ion cube, buddy, okay? Give me a second, don't kill me. I thought he closed the place off. And I'm like, oh, excuse me, dude. I'm about to die here. <laughs> that is such a cool thing. Definitely glad I did not, not go down there. Oh. I cannot believe they- I was not expecting that. They still have a sea emperor down here, everyone. What? Oh. That's crazy. Uh, um. Uh, can you get up this freaking steps? You're embarrassing me, dude. Uh, let's just go around the small way. <laughs> okay, apparently I'm not big enough to go on the steps yet. <laughs> oh, that is such a cool thing. Pepper, we need your ion cubes, please. Oh. So he can give me the enzyme 42 to cure me, right? Totally, he can. And I swim with the current, don't you worry. <laughs> that thing gave me a heart attack when I first saw him. Oh. I thought he was gonna kill me. He can talk with me telepathically, right? Uh. Let's take an ion cube. Thank you, Pepper. 
don't worry. I'm just gonna talk with the, the Emperor. You just stay back there. Don't worry about it. Let's not take my knife out so he doesn't think I'm mean. Could I stasis him if he tries to attack me? You better hope so. <laughs> When I saw that little barrier thing at first, I thought I literally, like, messed up the game somehow, and I'm like, wait, was I supposed to bring two blue tablets? But apparently it's just a random decoration thing. Okay. Not scared. YOLO. Where is he? Oh, beautiful person. What a beautiful guy. You don't ram me, because I'm pretty sure you hurt. Okay, does this ion cube incubate your eggs? Hey, dude. Where's the actual thing? Okay. Are you gonna do your little sitting in judgment? He's going to. Let's do it. Ooh. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. Yeah. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I, uh, exactly how am I supposed to do that? Does it come with an instruction manual? Insert hatching enzymes? What do you mean? Where is it? Do you have it? Dude, you're looking... My... <laughs> okay. I seriously need another one. <sighs> Give me one second, dude. One, one second. One second. Just, just, just a teeny second. Screw this game. It's dumb. Can't have anything. Don't worry, dude. I'll be back. Not abandoning you. You don't have to hurt me. Okay. Okay, let's hurry up before he attacks me. Um. Uh. Pepper, get your butt over here. Yeah, I'm dealing with an emperor here. Okay, is he gonna give me what the others tried to take in vain? I'm assuming that's the cure. How did they. How did I not know that there was a giant thing down here? Jeez. <laughs> He's just sitting there like, eek, like, are you gonna put in the ion cube? And I'm just like, uh, I don't have one. <laughs> oh. These people were idiots. Why couldn't they just, like, listen to him? You know? Like, he literally can give you the cure, but, like, all he wanted is his young to hatch and play. He kind of sounds like a horror movie. I want to play. You know, like a doll talking to you or something? I don't know. I'm weird, okay? Okay, Pepper, get your storage open. Yeah, I know you don't like the big, giant, scary thing. I'm taking three this time, because screw this game and it's dumb freaking 50 million. Like, ridiculous. So I'm assuming this warp gate will help her child uh, 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 go outside to the world and play. <laughs> That's what she said, okay. That is what she said, but, you know, we can't exactly trust her. Because she's huge and can kill us with one sweep, I'm pretty sure. Let's drink some water. I don't want to die while I'm trying to help this person. Okay. Can you give me the power of infinite food, please? Okay, dude, I'm going to go help you with your issue. Don't you worry about anything. I got you. You're homie, number one. Just don't attack me, okay? We all good here? Are you gonna come watch? He should be watching. I'm waiting for him. 
<laughs> Good boy. Okay. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's put this thing in. How you like that? Mine? Okay. Don't curse me. With the passage you have opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Okay. Oh, I got a hatching enzyme. Yeah, well, how am I supposed to make it? I'm sorry, I don't have freaking million answers. Did you just punch me? I will... Okay. Available biological data has been used to synthesize the effects of the alien bacterium on the sea emperor's natural life cycle. This creature likely lived and moved in small herds around the planet's ocean trenches, coming to the surface to feed off the huge volume of microorganisms. Let's go get some more water and food. Uh, yeah, don't watch this, please. I didn't do anything, okay? You didn't see anything. You didn't see anything, okay? It's for my survival, okay? Just trust me on this. So, do I need to go all the way back now and make the enzyme? Oh, come on. Then come back to you? Okay, dude, I'll be back. Don't you worry. With your new blueprints, the world is my domain. I don't know. Okay, let's read this more, this data bank. Okay. This creature likely lived... Oh, I read that. Family side would be strictly limited by available food supply. Offsprings would likely split off at a young age to form their own herds elf elsewhere. Given their sparse population, mating and egg laying was likely infrequent, perhaps a once-in-a-lifetime event. The species likely had a preferred environment for egg laying. In fact, successful hatching may depend on such conditions. Given the rarity of this event, it is impossible to calculate those conditions precisely. There is no evidence to support the assumptions that all members of the species were immune from the alien bacterium. If, even if this is so, there is evidence that that introduction of the bacterium decimated life on the planet, and this would have had catastrophic effects on the emperor's food supply and survival rate. The symbiotic relationship between the specimen and other life forms likely developed as a d direct result of the bacterial infection. Those life forms which which learned to keep the emperor alive, survived with its help. This may explain the vast tracts of lifeless ocean in a rough perimeter around the emperor's location. Okay. Uh, now, how do I make the blueprints? How do I make a hatching enzyme? More specifically. I know you gave me the blueprints, dude. Now, can you show me if I need to go all the way home? What's this? Oh. Shouldn't it have been there? Hatching enzymes. Okay. 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 Uh. We need this. Okay. Fuck. Bull bush sample. Gotcha. Are you down here? Don't mind me, dude. Just trying to hatch your babies. Bull bush sample. Okay, where is it? I don't see anything down. Oh my gosh, am I gonna have to go all the way around the world and find this stuff? Wait a second. I have smart brain. Do these warp gates take me to each biome, maybe? Please? Can't you just, like, be a bulb bush down here? For old Pi Pius. Sea crown, I needed that. Boom, that's one, right? Yeah, now I need eye stalk. Cave bush. Sure. Sure, anything that I got from that. 
No. Okay, this is where I need to be. Gotcha. Pretty sure I already had that, but you know, who cares? Ah. Uh, violet blue? What do I need? Eye stalk, bull bush, ghost weed. That's a ghost weed, right? I don't know. Sure as heck looks like it. Gabe's feather, red wart, cave bush. Jesus, there he goes down. Fur, cave bush, violet blue. Okay, I'm gonna maybe bring Pepper so I can actually get some oxygen here. Oh, crap. Oh, yay. I found my way. Uh, don't mind me, Sim Sea Emperor. This is just the third time I'm going out. Don't mind me, don't mind me. I'm just the regular human. Just a regular human. Yeah, you just, uh... Okay. Sea crown. I need ghost weed. Eye stalk and bulb bush. And fungal. Huh. Interesting ingredients <laughs> that your babies need. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm almost dead here, so if you could, uh, maybe... I don't need that. I can't drop it. Don't mind me, see, I need that, I don't need that, I do need that, I do need that. Okay. Boom. Okay, we need to find all the ingredients down there, which is gonna be not that easy. Okay, Pepper, get over here, your butt. We're helping a sea emperor today. Wow, this is an epic journey, everyone. This is going to be a longer video than usual, because this is going to be so cool once we actually do it. Should I actually maybe do it next episode? Or are you all going to get mad at me? <laughs> you probably are. But that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ha, in your face. I'm going to end off this video here. Next episode, we will free the Sea Emperors and get the cure, hopefully, hopefully, and get back home. Thank you so much for watching this amazing video. Storm666, team in out. Happy gaming, everyone. Hopefully this video doesn't delete, because I would be upset.